You don't want this is from the cubs. The what? This is from all the different cubs that me and you did. The cubs? Yeah. I've been in so many different pairs. Well, you, yeah. <clears throat> you've been you've been writing for quite a while. For you said, yeah. you said you've been with yeah. with yeah. Me for like since seven years, huh? I was asleep. Big boy, swat. They just all green me it all out of me. <laughs> so, so he was like, I, she didn't click, I did. I was like, no, that's not the workers though, we're both that. I was like, fuck me, I, I, I didn't even, I was like hiding, because they took her out first in the middle, yeah, and I was just in the back, in the hallway still, and then I was like, fuck that, I don't want them to come in there and like, think that I'm like armed or something, so. <laughs> I put my one arm out and then they saw it and then I was like, dog, come out, I know you're in there, you know, I put my arms out and then, you know, boom, boom, boom. But no, and then I, you know, I put them on your head and then I went to put my pants over there, put them on your head, I was like, oh, shit. They're just like the movies. <laughs> and the fan movies, man. Yeah. Well, I don't know the way I did, but right there, that was fun. That was crazy. Craziest interaction I've ever had with cops. That's funny, they're all shielded up. <laughs> Pretty intense, huh? Not, not intense. It, I mean, it, it was just funny because I could, like, I don't know, because I kind of, like, heard them come. Mm -hmm. So then I I went to the bathroom, and then right when I went to the bathroom is whenever I heard somebody open the door and be like, get up and come on in. I thought it was just, like, somebody playing with me or something. I thought they were joking. <laughs> Fuck, so I was like peeked and then I saw it. it just, well, I could see a bunch of green lasers coming inside because I was in the hallway. Uh -huh. Looking at the, like, the living room and the, they're in the door in the living room. And I guess they got disarmed when I was in the hallway. And then I could just see the green green. I was like, fuck that. I'm not trying to get this wall. I fell all the way. I my hands out first. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I walked out to reach, put my pants up. They, they thought I had a white pants. But I was like, oh shit. It's a good thing you did it. <laughs> oh. You're crazy though. My bad, it sounds pretty crazy. Huh? It sounds pretty crazy. Well, not that part, it was just crazy how. Like, I had a. I had to walk in and walked outside, make sure. I think it was cool. And then as soon as I go back inside and sit down, I remember I accidentally stepped on her glasses. So then I started trying to fix them. <laughs> that, that, that's what I, cause I remember like, I heard noise I was at first, but then I went on and it was just workers painting the apartments in Albuquerque. And then I was like, all right. And then I go back inside and that's when I broke them and I was about to fix them and then smoke a cigarette. And then I could hear a bunch of noise again. And then she woke up and then she looked at me and I was like, I thought right ahead to the bathroom. And then that's when I heard the door kick open. And this sounds like a joke though, because <laughs> they didn't sound serious at all. When I went out there, it was just a bunch of white guys. <laughs> I like these boys. I was joking, talking shit to all of them. Yeah. Like, I didn't want to talk shit, but they were just being so sarcastic. Like that. And being Pardon them or what? No, I wasn't being hard. I didn't make a joke because they were. I was like, no, what does this tattoo stand for? And I was like, you don't know what 12 is? And then I told them, and then I was like, well, y'all wanted to know. Like, I didn't mean no disrespect, but y'all wanted to know. And then they were like, oh. And then one of them was like, he likes to fuck the cops, that's why he got that. And then I was like, this nigga, I was like, I was like you don't even think that way, you get his fuck. And that's when I started like being hard to tell them. But then all the, the state troopers that were transferring, I was cool with all of them because they were turning the air up. The first marshal this one was about cut so tight, he was searching me fucking weird as fuck. I was pissed. I was talking shit. I was like, nigga, I know you damn like you saw both of them search me. Why would you do it third time? But right, just doing me too. Hey, but he was only doing it to talk shit because I, I was already in his car and he could hear me fidgeting, but he's like, what are you reaching for? I'm like, nothing, boy, you got me tied it up, boy. I was like, this is not comfortable. And then he, that's when he got out, I thought he was gonna loosen him up. He's like, come on, get out, let me search you again. Like, nigga, what the fuck?
all of his people. Because I've been waiting, I was like, come on, let me call the old backseat car with my hands behind my back. Oh, it's a long drive, man. I slept sometimes. Because <laughs> I was like, I better see before I get there, goddamn. I'm going to need. Hold it to you. Put it on your wrist. I was good to sleep. It was better than thinking. The mind's the worst, your worst enemy. Fuck. And that's what's weird. But it's all good, because whatever happens, it's going to happen for real. You know? Like, that's what life is. That's what life is. A bunch of lessons and blessings. You know what I Yeah. If you don't learn from them, you're going to repeat them again. Yeah, exactly. That was the first time I seen my dad in forever, too. I was at my dad's house in my car. I barely went last night. Oh. So. I, whenever I got there and chilled with him all day, he we went to sleep at like 12 last night, and he said he had to work in the morning, so I didn't even get to see him. Then. And then that's what they do. Mm -hmm. Like that. Never get to see my dad. It's the last time you, you saw him before yet, yesterday? Uh, yesterday. Or last night at 12. Uh -huh. And then, but that was the first time I seen him in like, what, three, four years? Three, four years? Yeah, I, I've only met I've only met him like five or six months. Mm. But mm. I reached out to him to go over there. Cause he wanted me to move in with him. And he's like, yeah, you can bring the girl or whatever. It's like I just want you to be my son, cause my, your mom never lets you. And she, and I don't, I don't even know her mom. Even, I don't know. Cause I think she locked up. They were already telling me that. I don't even know the truth. They were just telling me that uh, if I had to come back, they were going to keep her out there once in a minute. I was like, oh. And everybody wanted to start talking shit to me. From her side of the family, saying that I had fucked up how I would, I'd rather let them sit in jail and come back over here and turn myself again. And then I was like, first time, I'm not going to go over there not knowing what the fuck I'm getting myself into because I don't even know why they put $2,000 reward out and then I, I know that she only needs a job because she had a warrant so what they probably do is look for me and found her and took her in for a warrant so then I was like nah so then my dad was like really the only one I trust that's all I went over there but I don't even know how to find out I think my dad told me <laughs> Cause my dude called me, he's like, you need to, you need to go do this, that, that. And I was like, no, 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 but she could hear me getting tatted. <laughs> and then it was my, it was my dad tatting me. She know, I guess she knows where my dad lives. Cause I, that's really the only reason, uh, the only idea I can think. Mm. Besides the worst, and I don't want to think the worst. So I don't want to think that somebody close. I don't know, but they all went over there and all. Cause they went over there like expecting somebody to like, not my little ass, you know, like, I don't know who they thought I really was, but it, I don't know. I don't know why it's not scary, but it is. Yeah, cause I've been chilling all day, but at the same time, but... They've been all fucking manhandling me and shit, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> that motherfucker trying to answer my so hey! Well, okay, well, that's it, but <laughs> never done this before. And then nobody told me nothing, so I don't know shit. I'm here. I'm just here watching you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just here listening, waiting to figure out what the fuck I'm about to do. First, the only thing I don't want them to do is send me to the fucking, to count. Because I want them to know I'm a Jew. I'm only 16. You want to that they know? Well, nobody else knew. Everybody you else knew. I'm 16. Huh? I'm 16. Everybody thinks they got 17. Even the people that watch us? 
after they called the state trooper, they're like, by the way, he, he's a juvenile, he's not an adult. And they're like, oh, fuck. I don't know, what the fuck? They probably fucked up. <laughs> I don't know, they're all, it's one of them, I'm like, I was like, I ain't saying shit. I was like, I'm waiting. I was like, I was like, I'm waiting to. I could talk to my lawyer. I was like, I don't even know I'm only 16. They freaked out. I don't know. That nigga was talking hell of shit. They were being all real. That's how I was in Texas too. Whenever they like violated my rights and shit, they thought because they thought I was an adult. I was like, fuck that. I'm a minor in it. Took the cops to jail. It was a lieutenant. Cause he had all the officers that came me out of crime scene. Mm -hmm. I had a shut up. Because he talked first, he talked to do him, and he asked me what it was. And then I guess that's what kind of set him off. And then the second question was where my brother was standing when he got shot. And I I told him where he was standing, and then he kept looking at me like, and then I was like what? And then he was like, don't don't be talking to me like that. He's like he's like officers are taking this 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 suspect or something. And then like five fucking cops tackled me to the floor, put their knees on my back and shit. My girl and her mom and everybody was all crying and screaming at the cops. They didn't even see my girl at the time because she, she like ran to me and shit like uh, trying to help me. But I like, nah, let them, let them. You guys don't know how old I am. And then they try, to, they try to let me go. Like, fuck that. I was like, I'm going to call the cops. And I'm going to tell them that y'all motherfuckers out here treating me, these kids like it. Cause I was the, we were like the victims in the situation too. My brother just got shot, and then they went over there tackling me and shit. So what the fuck? I, they had me sitting in the back of the cop car the whole crime scene while they're trying to figure out like what happened to my brother, like how he got shot, where he got shot from, this and that. And they just had me sitting back, like I don't give a fuck, like I don't give a fuck. I was like, bruh, are you serious? Like and then my girl, the one that called them after it. They detained her too, like, so we're both detained. And they're sitting out there trying to find shit, do the, that. I was like, bruh, why the fuck are me and her sitting in the car? Locked in handcuffs. Nah, no. I think it's just the white cops that were weird like that. <laughs> no, we he got investigate something if some, somebody's not cooperating. Oh, yeah, that's what he said too. He was like, He's like, no, the lieutenant, he was the only one. The other one, the officers that he had to, were just being dicks to me because of the tattoo. Mm -hmm. And then him, he came up and then he apologized. He was like, uh, that he didn't want to do any shit, but that it's a crime scene and that he needs to figure out his shoes and shit. And the only thing to cooperate, and he didn't have to do that. And then I was like, all right. And then that's when I told my friend, I'm like, <laughs> stop being dick to them, we can talk to them. Because I, cause like, I don't know. She seen me being talking shit, I was talking shit. Cause after they detained me, I was like that. Cause I thought like cause I'm dark. I don't know. I don't want to say the racist, but some cops are. But Texas was the worst place, and Albuquerque, I guess. We put that they were all white. <laughs> They're like nineteen of white soldiers out there, and I was in I was in the worst part of Albuquerque. I thought this was the first time you got caught up. Well, I didn't get, I've never been to jail, but. Ah, okay. They detained me and shit, but <laughs> never been to jail. So we'll see what happens. I don't know what the word. Well, like I said, I never had no family or nothing. So. Mm. I just let it, I just go with the flow. Whatever I can that. For a reason, though. Right? Yeah. Did Pops give you a neat tattoo or what? Nah, he fixed it. Because I had my guy, I had, I had my grandma, or these hands from my grandma in, in loving memory, but the guy never put these dates. And then, so my dad put the dates and we added clouds in these empty spaces. Okay. Like it. Yeah, good. Cause at first it was just he even went over the end of the room because the first time they did it, did it so shitty. They was looking like this one too, like a sticky pole. What's that other one? What's she, this one? Yeah. This one's my face, okay. 
These are stupid ones. Uh, is that what you got? I mean, yeah, I got these. I got like little ones like this and shit, but I don't count those. These are like made me go on too. Mm. Better be. I was gonna get another one when my dad got off work. What were you gonna get? I was thinking, I don't know what I want to get. What were your options? Oh, I had any option, but, but I don't know what I thought. I thought it was really good. Okay, I want hood tatted. And because I was talking to my dad about it, I was like, I don't know, because this shit forever. I was like, what if one day I decide no, I want to get my head right and like, don't want part of this shit. Like, I don't want to have this tatted on me. He's like, you're wrong. He's like, so, think hard. <laughs> but that's, I don't know, but that's like, he's like, he's like, he's like not, not somebody I can go talk to, you know, because he's not good at talking to good. So I was like, I, I like, well, just change this one and then I'll wait till tomorrow to get my other one because I want to think about it. Nah, no, no. Cause I guess I don't even want to get shit tatted on me that mean, that it actually mean for you know. Yeah. Cause like I said, forever. That's how I got my grandma and shit. And I got this because this is like really me. Well, it used to be me. Cause I'm trying to do better now, you know. And then these are just dumbass tattoos I got. I was little. Little. <clears throat> but I hope whatever happens is worth it because uh, all my clothes, all my money, everything I own is not cooking in that room. But when they found me, what's your pops place, right? What, my pops place? No, it's girlfriend. Oh. She left right away. <laughs> she was the one. Oh. Maybe it's my pops. I like, I'll fuck everybody now you're playing on me just for this $2,000 reward and shit. Girl, no, 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 no. Well, how can you say that? Because that's what I think that's what my mom wanted. My family don't fuck with me at all. So then when everybody started reaching out to me wanting to help me, I knew it was because they were just trying to fucking get me caught up for shit. I don't want to do anything else to us or me for some or anybody for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think mothers love to run things, you know? Not for me, see this. I don't like me. <laughs> I don't. Cause I feel like, like I said, everything happens for a reason. I, I, I know so much now like, about what life really is because I didn't have my family. So I think of everything for a reason. Yeah, I think sometimes things that happen are because we chose them, you know? Wait, sometimes, you said sometimes things happen because we chose them? Yeah. Yeah, no, I know. A lot of shit happened because you made that choice, but you made that choice, and like you, it's either you pick to go wrong or you pick that choice for a reason, you know. So right now, it's either I picked it for a reason or it's it's happening because it needs to, you know. Like it needs to open up the world to me. Like if I go to jail or something, then I know that. Like, I know what to do to prevent myself from going to jail. Or, like, to push back and stop being crazy, you know? I don't know how to you say it, but like what you said, like, you, you can choose to do wrong, but sometimes you don't choose to do wrong, but you do it because you need it to, you know? Like, sometimes you'll do wrong not even knowing you did it, but you do it because you need it to, so that you know, you know? Like, no, I, I, like, let's say, I didn't you, that okay, so you, you go fuck up, get locked up, but that choice that you made, let's say you didn't mean to make it, but you made it because you needed to open up your eyes to see that not to be making dumb ass choices, you know? That's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes it works that way, but then sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes people are just, like, me down as fuck and just do it because. I don't treat you like that, bro. 
No, I don't. I, I don't. I do good my whole life, but it just like I want the war sometimes. Uh, something fucked me up, and I, I just get dead. Like, not give up, but don't care. <clears throat> I just don't understand why the hell I'm still here. <laughs> what do you mean here? Like, here in the world, just like, it's whatever the fuck you want to call it. Because I don't see no purpose. I have no family, you know, nothing at all. I don't even have gold because any gold I make, it ain't shit to me because it doesn't matter. I don't know. Like, yeah, if it, it also happened whenever I had, you know, my, or whenever I didn't have my dad. And then once I lost my mom, it's like whenever I started looking at life, like, how to do it. Like, I don't know, I think of it as a big ass simulator, big ass game. You create your own reality, like, I don't know. You really do whatever you want just with, with yourself in this world, but it's boring to me. I don't like it. Cause like, I've been, had one, and I still was that. I've been, did like, every bad thing that I wanted to do. I don't know, every, anything that I ever wanted and I accomplished, still didn't make me happy. Like, I don't know how you would describe it. I just look at life as like, nothing. I don't know if that makes sense to you. No, I don't get you. I mean, the, it's only because of this place I'm in, the position I'm in, that I look at it like that. Other people would be like, don't eat that. Like, care for yourself. Like, want, want to do this, but I'm not for what? But to the brother, for me, like, I don't even care. Like, when I was working for five days a week, making all that money every day, too, I still didn't, like, feel different. I just wish that something would show me what the fuck I'm here for. I think that's the problem for most people. They like just wait instead of going and getting it. But I've been doing that. Like, like I, I said, first, like, it all started, like, with, it's called Law of Attraction. I watched the movie, and I'm a real spiritual person. I don't kill this shit. And that's when I started learning to create your own reality, like, uh, based off the thoughts and shit, you know? And... Well, once that girl like cheated on me, that's what fucked me up. Like, it made me come back over here and fuck up. Cause I told you, like, if like you hurt me, bro, like I'm just gonna go back to Christmas and hit my bush. And that's what ended up happening like a month later. So I came back over here and ever since then I fucked up. Like I've been fucked up. <laughs> Every day been fucked up. Can I ask them for water? Yeah, I told the detective I know you wanted some water.
say you wanted to, you were thinking about getting your hood cut? Yeah. But I always told my little cousin too, because he always wants to, but I'm like, no, no. no. Like, you don't even know if you want to do this shit forever. You're probably going to go and get your mind right, you know, because you should be doing it dumb. Should I be doing it dumb too, but me, I think about it long and hard, and I choose to make the decision, you know? Like, I know right from wrong, but I, I choose wrong sometimes. Because it's just where I want to be. But I didn't want to get my hood tattooed because fuck that. Like, I don't know. Like, no matter what, I know that in the end, I'm probably not going to want to fucking be like this. Because in the end, like, that's not the way to look. What's your hood now? Right now, it's the same hood. We're still in 60s crib, but I'm I'm saying, like, I'm not going to get it tatted because I don't. One day, I might just want to be like, my own woman said, no, no, I'll be part of that black woman. Yeah. So I don't want to get it tatted on my skin. Because it's forever. So I want to, I want to know what jail I'm going to, because all the rubber forties, they, they gonna smoke. <laughs> they want what? They, they, they don't like me. But it's all good. So I'm like, when I'm, I think I'm like the only one with 60 cent cushion. And then there's all of them sealed up on the very bottom. It's the Rolling Forties. Crips. The East Side Crips, though, not the East Side Low. They don't know. They tried to check me when I moved out here. Tried to tell me I was in my 60 were in tow. The OG found out where I was from. He was the one that came to me and apologized because his family's from the same place. His, 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 his like, ancestry, his, like, uncle and shit, his, his older parents, or older family members, were from the same place that I was put down on. So then that's what, like, stopped the beef between us. But all the young and shit, they didn't give the egg. So uh, whatever job I go to, I just want to know. What sets over there? <laughs> as long as they don't charge for me at it, or as long as they don't put me in fucking county, charge me. Uh, I can see you. You're a Jewy. Yeah, I'm a Jewy. Yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. It's because I don't know why the fuck we kept saying that. I was like, wait, chill out, chill out. I'm 16. I'm like, I'm not trying to go. I'm like, no, person, yeah, you fuck that. How would I go to an adult jail without even going to a juvenile jail or I imagine the mindset you'd have to have. Pretty young to be. I know, exactly. But it's because I've been living by myself since I was like 11 or 12. Just been hopping house to house to house to house to house. Are our foster parents or just the other ones? Just people I like meet. People who. Been in my shoes before. That's how I meet a lot of people that I know. I'm in this army. She took, she let, like, that's the reason I, like, or that's how we got together because I was at a crib and then she found out that I was, like, homeless and then me and the boys were fucking finding a spot to go every night. And that's when she asked, like, or that's when she would just tell me, she's like, you can stay here. And I'll be like, all right, bet. And if they, they want to go out all the time, they're like, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to stay here. Because <laughs> she, she's smart, you know, she knows herself. Oh, sure. 17. 17, right. So I don't know why, because she had told me right when they, because I was detained all morning. They, she wasn't. So every time I did make contact with her, she told me she was, the last thing she told me was that she was about to get arrested. Like, what the fuck? Why? I don't do shit. But probably because they're trying to detain her and arrest her because she doesn't want to say something about it. Mm. Because I don't see what, what, what she's done. Like, I've been with her every single day since the cops started looking at her. She has not done anything.
that's what they, that one, I don't know if you guys got the, my, or it was, I don't know if you talked to my other homie, Adrian, not her brother, her brother, he met him. I don't know. He's, uh, he came in, I think, yesterday or the day before. Yeah. They call him a Dasani son. Oh. That one, do you remember? Yeah, I think so, but I never saw them. Oh, okay. Well, they, that's like, uh, that's whenever I booked or left because I saw them on Facebook Live that there was like fucking okay, 12 cop cars at her house. And I had just left, just got picked up to go to my other homie's house because I didn't want to stay at one spot. Because mm -hmm. that's when I saw the post and everybody was like, you got $2,000 on, like your name and shit. And I was like, what? The fuck? So I, I started, I was in my homie's house. And then right as I left, like, I remember fucking. <laughs> this this nigga, he's like, you better have a mask on and have a fucking hoodie. He's like, you're not coming to my house. I'm looking like that. And then I remember I went all back that same night, all for the, like, about to get my clothes before I just tell Ricky. He's like, what the fuck are you doing, nigga? Look at all these people. You don't even have a mask on. He was like, he's, he's a bitch. I'm like, oh, shit. And then, but that, I remember that's when I saw, like, the live. And right before, so they popped. My little cousin saw these house first. And then they popped this on these house. And then they popped the homie's mom's house and then they popped his house but they popped his right after I left out and then that's the last time I was here and which is then I went over there and I was good and so I woke up this morning. <laughs> I like hey yeah, see I could, I'm telling you that I, I woke up like an hour or two right before that. Like went outside to make sure everything was good and I had such a good feeling. But I had a bad feeling too because I told you that. I want to stay here. I feel weird about it. She, she's like, let me just stay. Like, it's because the way I don't like my dad, you know? So I felt uncomfortable being at his house, you know? I was like, I don't want to be here. I was like, I feel like this nigga's on tweak or shit, because that nigga, he smokes and shit. So I was like, I feel like it's a tweak him or something. Like, this is like, well, if you, let's just stay here tonight, and then tomorrow we'll get him once up. I was like, all right. Boom, I, I fucked up. I put up sleeping too, because <laughs> I wasn't even sleeping like those days. I was not sleeping. <laughs> and I was like, fuck that. I'm not going to risk going to sleep. I don't know why the fuck they put my picture in there. Because they, well, I don't know. I just know that they weren't supposed to post me. Because I'm telling you, I don't have a phone, so everybody's just telling you that I was being posted. You know? Every time you met up with people? Huh? Every time I met up with them, yeah. <laughs> or, or, or they would be calling the Sonny to tell me, like, mm -hmm. to tell me, no, what the fuck? And then I'll make sure, I'll be like, all right, so I'm about to go over here. Y'all are the only people that know. So I was really happy, I know we were come to. <laughs> so I was good, but like I said, like, I don't know what the fuck happened last night. It's either someone there or somebody that, or it was the person that dropped me off. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but once I saw two thousand dollars, I was like, "Yeah, everybody's been looking for me." <laughs> but I don't know why I just. Kept going home with my life, just walking around the world for a dope ass nothing. I don't know, because I didn't think of it. I still don't. Because I don't see what to look. Maybe it's for a reason, like I said. Because <laughs> I don't know why. Who see it? I don't know. Like I, said, I think of life as I believe. I'm just going to go with the flow, see how it turns out. Maybe I'll end up. In jail forever, maybe I'll end up rich one day, I don't know. You gotta go with the flow. Nine to sixteen. No, I wish I was over. Fucking hate that I'm still here. Like like I said, it was the world. I got I don't like I'm not suicidal at all. I never even think that way, but like I said, I don't see no purpose here, so I just don't understand why they still have me here. But then other people tell me like you're still here because you need to be that. You still haven't found your purpose. You know? Yeah. You're out of the spiritual people I talk to. But they see that I have a big mindset and that I'm also like, I've been here before, you know? But, and so that's what I think of like, like I know everything, so why the fuck 
for most of the year. <laughs> I don't know. I just think like way outside the box. Like, just because I know what life really is. Like I'm like, why the fuck do I think people like like to be here and you say, oh, this is whack. But I guess you just see you just see life the way you lived it, you know? Yeah, exactly. And I think that's that's my purpose is to make open people's eyes and show them what life really is. Like not but not like all fucked up our mind is, but like show them that life was really what you make of it. Like whatever you think you should like everything happens for a reason. Like just show them what life really is. I think that's what my purpose is. Because yeah. that's what the person that I go to, like when they need somebody spiritual to talk to, that's what he told me. But then yeah, then he I th- I think he was trying to get me into some bad voodoo. Because the years I was all asking him about reincarnation. And then he started talking about sacrificing like my loved ones. Like, what? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, like, no. And then he's talking about one of his friends. I don't know if you heard about Georgie Clout. About who? Georgie Clout. The one that passed away, though, everybody would be posting. Uh-huh. That crashed in the Mustang or whatever. Oh, yeah. On yeah, yeah. yeah. That was his best friend. Who said that? He was like the one that made him. Like, not crash, but. Like, basically planned that life out for him. You know, because the homie I talked to, he's real high in this shit, so. He, he claims he's our, like, the one who put us in the shoes that we're in and shit. But I'm like, nah, I think we're not that powerful. I'm like, you might know a lot, but you know about that much. Like, to, make, to create my own reality, no. I was like, I create my own reality. And then he's like, no, I did that. When you got hit by a truck the other day, I did that. I was like, what? Like, no, you didn't do that. I was like, I like, that was my job. I was like, I got hit for a reason, though. But I don't know, the, the day I got hit, I don't, I don't even know. I, I never sued him or nothing. I don't know what, where that nigga was at. The guy that hit me, I don't know where he's at. I flew from one light pole to another. I broke my hip. And this happened like three weeks ago. Three weeks ago? Here in town? Yeah. Right next to us, Chris. And I remember waking up in the hospital, and then like, the only person they laid on was my mom. And and then I had a bunch of people blowing my phone up because they thought like, I got hurt, hurt, you know? Mm-hmm. But I was good. Because I'm always good. I don't know. Like, I've been through so much shit, so all that. Like, everything, any possible thing you can think of, I've always been good. But I think it's because I had nobody and shit, you know? Like, I need to be here still. But, I don't know, maybe the dish right here is going to teach me something. That's, I'm saying if I go to jail, I don't know what's gonna happen, but if I don't, I feel like I'm still gonna be like this, like, like, dumb. Like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know how to explain it. I just don't understand them. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Not that completely lost. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not lost, like, I know what I'm talking about, I just don't know how to make it understandable for you, you know? Yeah, no, no, I get you, man. Because a lot of people are like, huh? Well, you'd understand if you, if you went through it. Well, that's what I told you. No one won't judge. Yeah, you did. That's why, like, I say, like, stories that happen so you can, like, relate or feel, you know? Like, oh, that's what I think that way. You've done a lot, man, and you're barely 16. Been through a lot. So, more than any, any grown up nigga I've ever talked to, like, that's what they introduced me as. This motherfucker did the way more shit than you ever. Like, that. I, 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 that's why, like, all my homies, they're all uh, dogs, like, way older than me, but except my little cousin. He's not my like, real cousin, I call him my cousin because, I don't know, he's from the set. And then that nigga right there, he's, he's like the only kid I'll talk to. Like, the other kids, the other teenagers and shit, like, they don't, they don't have the same mindset as me, so I can't chill with them, you know? Me and my my older homies and my little brother, we we have big mindsets. Like I, I had a my little brother, he was hard, like he's hard at it. But older homies and me, we had to like tell him, like nigga, you can't just be doing dumbass shit all the time for a reason. Like when we do this shit, it's because we need it to, like, for the brothers or something. You know, like just don't be out here burning your names, fucking up for no reason. Like, I don't know, because, like, what's to be doing bad shit, but, like, try not to do it for no reason type shit, you know? I don't know, like, I try to, like, because he saw me doing good. He saw me getting my money up. So, but I showed him to do it the right way. Instead of, like, going out here and just fucking up. Because we used to just 
go out on the ground while the plugs for them, bro, and do this and that. And then I was like, we need to stop that shit. I'm going to get a job. And that's when I moved away and he saw me stacking, stacking. And I came back, you know, best friends with, with, with another homie from the hood, but this nigga, like, is encouraging him all that. Mm -hmm. And, like, using my little brother, like, yeah, we're gonna get our money out of this and that, just help me sell this, and I, I thought I'll help you out. Boy, like, my, my, me and my little cousin, we're so known in the city, we sell it. We sell everything. So, I guess he's, like, using my little brother, like, for clientele. But my little brother don't see that. I, I don't know, like, since I moved back, like, a month ago, my little brother, when I left the first time to Texas, he was the only one I had. Like, I lived with him. But when I went back, he wanted to go chill with that for every day. Like, so I, was, I didn't even feel comfortable at this house no more, you know, because he was never there. Just his mom, you know, mom, boyfriend, his sister. I was like, okay, I'm going to leave. And then that's, like, whenever I came out here, man, man, this time. Like, because I left that uh, crib. And then, well, I started Bad tweaking with me, yeah. Try to put my arm. I get lost in the sauce sometimes. You get lost in the sauce? That's what we call it. <laughs> we say lost in the sauce, and that means like when you're just like so fucked up that you just start tweaking. Like you just start tweaking. That's what I mean by real is called. It's because there's a lot of us, and we walk into the same shit. There, we all do the same shit. You know? How many brothers you have? They're not my real brothers. These are the people I'm talking about that I oh, okay. found. You know, I did like, I, I just hung out to find people. Yeah. Yeah, like, these are just people with Christians, like. Even your little brother, your little brother, or? No, nah, he's not like my little brother. He's just the youngest homie I have, so I call my little brother. Gotcha. Nah, I don't have no brothers. I have yeah. seven sisters. Mm -hmm. You're the only boy? Yeah. But that's, that's why I, I don't know. I, I haven't talked to my mom. I talk to my sister sometimes, but. Uh, I haven't talked to them forever. Like I barely in, like put myself back in their life when I went to Texas. Yeah. But then she like pushed me away, and fucked up. So then I moved away, and then she ended up getting caught up at the border and shit, and having that warrant out for arrest, right? And then that's when she stayed here in Texas. And I was out there still working, and then my brother cheated on me. So once I broke up with her, I had to move back over here because I didn't know where I was going. My mom wasn't living there no more. So then I like but go to the Texas, came back over here. As soon as I touch down, boy, tweak all my tweaking, the tweaking will get me up to chip. Fuck my shit up. I say that because, like, I don't know, like, I never spent a dollar on that shit, but the them niggas will throw that shit in here, 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 here. Like, they, like, I'm like, damn. So I had to push myself away from those people, because they don't care. <laughs> you know, like, why the fuck, if they did, why the fuck would they do that? Me, like, now that I see it, look that way, me and my brothers, like, if if any of us find out that we were tweaking or something, we'll fuck, we'll have to fight. I'll be like, nigga, don't let me find out you're smoking. He's like, nigga, you just fucking move your car. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Let me find out you're smoking. Because, like, I don't know, we all, like, we all live, like, we're, we're really all have nobody, so we all treat each other like that. Like family, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, nigga, if you want to be tweaking shit, you don't fucking get beat the hell up by all of us, all the brothers. And then we all start fucking talking shit to him. That always goes like sometimes I'll be him, like that guy that's talking shit to him. So I'll talk shit about the beat. You know, like, I want to smoke here. Break that shit. <laughs> but that's why I like them, you know, because they actually care. <clears throat> but right now, like when I left, sorry, I see, right now I see everybody too good. I don't fuck with I could cut down on them. Those are my brothers, but they're not, you know? Because in, in reality, we're all our own people. I could care. Like, my, like, I don't want to say in this in disrespectful way, but I tell my mom, like, there's, like, almost, I can go almost every day without thinking, like, about my grandma. Like, being passed away. She, she's my favorite person in the world. And I'm like, why is that? Man, I'm, that and I told her, like, if you, or she asked why, like, I tell her, because, I saw, I see life for what it was years. Like we're really all just a bunch of fucking souls in the end. bodies that, like we really don't even look like this. We just think we look like that, you know? Cause everything based off your mind. Like I said, like I, I went real deep into this shit, so that's why I know everything so different now. Cause I realized, like, 
we're really we all just so we're all gonna die one day we're all gonna do like that's just life you know so then that's how I told my mom like, how they feel about it and shit and then like I'm like that's why like, I'm not around and shit because like the day something happens and shit I don't want you guys to be hurt because like I, I don't know like, I just know what life is and I want I know that I'm gonna get shot one day or I'm gonna die one day something that I you know but So I just think they would be with that mindset. She makes it tell you that I love her. Mm. Yes. You also gotta think that you're gonna last a while, you know? I mean, I know I'll be here for a while, but like I said, I'm not gonna die. Like, I always tell everybody, like, don't say that, knock on wood, I'm like, bro, I'm not. Because I, why would I haven't found a reason to? So Matthew, mm-hmm. I introduced myself, but I didn't introduce the technical window. Okay. Is that me? What's that? It is free. Okay. Sorry. Of course. course. Yeah. Oh, we gotta take care of it. Didn't I meet you? Or didn't I see you to the door? Just earlier. Oh, okay. Sorry, okay. Matthew. All right. Technical window. Nice. All right. Um, you just wanted the water. You're good. Oh, okay. Good. Um, yeah, I appreciate you know, your compliance and cooperation. I know it's been a long day for you. You know, just being compliant and everything. That's why I felt it was important to feed you. All right, um, so when you want a water or you want anything else, we'll do our best to try to get that to you, okay? Um, because of all that, um, because you were transported, you know, you had a warrant for your arrest, you were transported over here. Um, it's been a long day for you. Um, you've been in the company of officers. Um, I'm gonna need to read your Miranda warnings, okay? okay? And after I read them, I'm gonna have a series of questions, okay? Mm-hmm. So, is there, what, Miranda warning? This is your Miranda warning, What's okay? That? Oh, am I right? You're right. Oh, God. Right. Did, did they happen to read them to you or say anything? Oh, they don't mean nothing. Like, everybody didn't think, it, they didn't even know my age. And so I told them they freaked out. Uh huh. But I'm 16. Because they were all trying to think that I was an adult. What's your date of birth again? I'm 16. You're uh, 17 or two more. Yeah, you're up. This is, okay, I think that's where I went. Okay. But, but basically, you're right. Or, okay. You've ever been right up before? No. It, it's pretty much like. Not on the first one for sure. It's like, like a TV. So, just like it. Now I'm going to read it, okay? So, if you want to read along with me, by all means, go ahead, okay? Mm-hmm. You have the right to, to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford a higher lawyer, one to be appointed to represent you for before any question if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any of my questions or make any statements, okay? First question is, do you understand these rights that I've explained to you? Yeah, I understand. Okay, so if you could just check the answer that you have given me, and then sign it. What did I think? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, let's have you date it as well. Date it? Yeah, 8-7 of 2020. And the time is 5.55 p.m. And some of, like, kind of clarification I like to tell people, if there's certain things you want to talk about, that's fine. If there's certain things you well, want to talk what about. what I'm going to do is I'm not going to talk until I have a letter. Okay. okay. So that, that, that will just tell you guys know. Okay. okay. So if I'm going to do that, how do I go about that? Well, the next question is, yeah. having this right to mind, do you wish to talk to me now? Or I just check? Sure. And I'll go ahead and take care of the rest. Do you want me to put a time date on? Yes, this was, yeah, it's 556. Did they explain to you what the warrant was about? What it was for? So you have an active arrest warrant for first degree murder. Yeah. Well, I, I read about it on the Facebook page because at first somebody had sent it and said that I was one of the, uh, something suspects that, or one of the, however many suspects you guys have that you guys think did it. That's all. Okay. But they didn't talk about that at all, so I want to know what happened in Albuquerque, like, that's when they went there, like, because they said that's another charge, that, like, whenever I told them I smoked cigarettes, mm-hmm. and then, so I was like, well, what's the first charge, so I just want to know, like, what else might be judgment? Right now, you have the active warrant from us, 
for first degree okay, murder. Okay, so that's why they bumped me back? First degree murder and aggravated assault to death. That's what you have for months. Okay, Dasani is going to have a probation violation warrant, plus she's also being charged with arboring and aiding. Oh. Basically, you're, you're fleeing or avoid to be apprehended. Oh, her? I didn't even know she Oh, I forgot she was on probation. Yeah, so but she's getting, she's getting the charge for going with you. Damn. Yeah. So. Right now, we're oh, yeah. I, I told her I, it's because I'm telling you, she, I don't know, she like it fell for me, and I told her, like, you don't need to be with me, like, during this. It's like not a place you need to be, you know? Like, why why follow me? <laughs> You're on probation. Uh, she told you that? Huh? She told you that? No, I told her, like, because I told her, like, from the beginning, like, I didn't really want to be serious with her. But, like, I don't know. I don't want to be rude, you know? She, but she ain't that serious with you, dude. No, I know what. Dude, we just dealt the law. I'll take we, to we Becky, just, guys. Yeah. I don't want to hear it. I don't care. <laughs> I barely met her. But that's what I'm telling her. Like, I told her, like, why are you coming? You know what? Well, but she's like, you get all hurt. And she's all like, all right, fucking come on. The signing, the signing. You don't know how. I don't know what happened. You don't, you don't know about her? Nah, I mean, like, barely, but barely heard about her when the officer, crime stoppers came out. I'm like, I was like, who are you? He's like, I said, Sonia. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I see. Dude, she, she's, you're, you're like, like nah, I, 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 don't, I don't care. Like, you're, you're like, I would say flavor <laughs> of the people. I would say 70, or I would say you were flavor of the month. <laughs> but that would be, hey, that would be too wide. The hell? Like, like, flavor of the week. I met her for the homies and then the boys was like, yeah, keep up in there. I was like, yeah, well, I'm only here because I need this. I was like, I haven't done nothing. Chill out. Girl. Chill out. Girl. Hey, I swear, because if any one of my boys knows her, her brother, I they don't know her. to meet her brother. Any, they all know her. Hey, so did you uh, did you have a phone on you when? I didn't have no, nothing. Okay. Oh, oh, I just had. They left my clothes and everything. Okay. Did they leave your phone and everything at your dad's? Yeah, no, oh, I don't have a phone. I told I told one of the other guys I was watching him that it broke like two or three days. So you had no yeah. property then. You just you have nothing on no, nothing. Okay. Right. That hurts. <laughs> she was with the grab my money. No, the only thing she has is her phone, which now we have. So uh -huh. we're gonna dip into that. We're gonna get all our stuff out of there. So. Cool. So it takes a little bit. Just uh, comply with these guys, okay? Hey, if if you happen to change your mind at any point, you want to talk to us before you leave? Let us know. Reach out to these guys, okay? Yes, sir. Oh yeah. So. He's also, we also have a search warrant for your DNA. What's that? So they're going to do swans. Oh, okay. Yeah, the swans, so yeah. it's going to be like a like two step there, sticking around and pull your DNA. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think back where you want him here. You want wherever you want to back to Yeah? Or you can, I'll get a little more night, I'll meet you there for a little bit. All right. So, you want to take another sip of water or something? Yeah. You need to